The weather's a little colder today, and I'm up here at uh, Big Daddy's Canyon. Been here before, and you'll see some of those pictures, I'm hoping. I just flew my drone to the peak right over my shoulder. There we go, right there. It's a wonderful thing to have a drone. It allows you to get places that you can't reach. I'm betting some people can, but I'm not one of them at this particular stage. The weather's much chillier out, but flew a couple batteries on the peak over there, and it was pretty spectacular. Some really neat petroglyphs that I'm quite certain a lot of people don't see anymore. My thought is to fly towards likely panels, get in close, take a little time to see what I can find, and then later on, once the videos in post see if we can't find the real small ones so the first panel I fly towards looks like there's some there and suddenly you go oh god there they are and you can see some stuff down at the bottom that I didn't notice the first time through are they petroglyphs or are these just the you petroglyphs these are what these appear to be a more modern style looking down the panel there Thought there might be some. Nope. Gonna head on down, see what I can find. Gonna speed it up so that you don't see all the boring stuff. But you can see here I found some other ones. Now these would be a Fremont culture I would classify as. Um, not that they look older or younger, but just that the style is much different. You can see a little triangle down at the bottom. And I didn't notice it. Bottom left, look at that. Is that a turtle? What are we going for there? Think I might see some there. There's something there. Look at that. It's it's there. Are they old? Were they not put in deep? Don't know. But it really, really looks like something should be there. Still looking. You know... It looks like there's stuff there, but it just, once you get in close and, and expand it, you can't honestly say. So drones flying up and just looking at likely panels. I know there's nothing there, but it is kind of interesting to see it. The rocks look neat the way the sandstorm, sandstone kind of gets eroded away like that in areas. So we're going to move in and ta-da! Found another set. And I think there's some over there on to the left, but at the time I didn't pay a whole lot of attention because that symbol there, again, I'm going to go with the Fremont culture. The, the Utes, when they put in theirs up to 300 years ago, you know, they were very much more anamorphic and very much more pictured. Do we have an old one there? I think we did. Just a little bit of the prettiness of the canyon there. We're going to try to go around here on the side. I haven't really seen too much structure, but there's some structure here, and right above it is a beautiful panel. Now these are Anasazi, but what's with the, the Hindu or, or the Nazi symbol, as they call it, right there? Is that a new one or an old one? Well, I think that's an old panel. Whether or not that Nazi symbol was new or old, or it was just a symbol for peace and tranquility kind of a guess that's going to have to be made by somebody else. Looked like there might be something up higher, but there's nothing I could see, so we just kind of flew past that. This is the top of the plateau. And there's the road way down there, good farming down there in the bottom, a creek that comes through it. Now are those grindstones? Or are those just natural water 
collection right there. Gonna swoop around. You know, I bet you there's a building right there on the left hand side. I may have to fly back up there and take a look at that. We're gonna come in, find another panel. She's got one, maybe two different symbols on it. And then you look over at this side here, and you guys see it? It's a little bit hard, but that's a ute symbol up there on the right hand side with the goat like that the other stuff uh looks like a hypodermic needle i mean that is an anasazi the top right would be a ute would be the way i'd classify them still working on the transition folks we'll get it down but it is neat and it's kind of odd because there were a lot of petroglyphs facing north and northeast on this. And maybe that's because they actually pointed towards Rasmussen Cave. Maybe that's where the kids went up to practice their graffiti while the adults stayed in the cave. But I mentioned Rasmussen Cave and hopefully, be, hopefully that'll be the next one I show you. And uh, we'll get a really good look at that one. Thanks for the travels, folks. See you on the next one.